somehow this has become like a, a narrative. So I want to go back like two or three weeks to after the Vanderbilt game because I believe there's a misconception that I called out our fan base for criticism, which could not have been further from the truth. For those of you that were in the room that night, listen to the sound bite. And I said that there was a small portion of the fan base that when they found out that Marshawn Lloyd was not playing in the Vanderbilt game, probably thought that it was over, that we didn't have a chance to beat Vanderbilt. And I said, it's the same group or same mentality that when Luke Doty got hurt in August of last year, that so many people thought our season was going to go in the toilet after that. And I said that we have to get past that as a fan base and find some joy. I did not say that I'm not subject to criticism. I am certainly open to criticism. I'm a head football coach and I'm the leader of this program. So fire the criticism at me because certainly I uh, um, can take it. I grew up the son of a head football coach. I understand what this chair entails. I uh, dealt with criticism of my father growing up. I've dealt with criticism as an assistant coach. And now I've, uh, as a head coach, you deal with criticism. So I get it. That's part of the job. And by no means was I not was I calling out our fan base. There's an old adage, if you don't know it, look it up, called Murphy's Law, that if something bad is going to happen, it's going to happen. And I've been hearing about that ever since I was an assistant coach here at South Carolina about curses and things like that. There's no dang curse, all right? And my message, what I was trying to say that night in Nashville was that we need to get past the negative mindset of just waiting for something bad to always happen here and that something bad is right around the corner. Uh, and that's when I use the expression, find some joy. So I get it. With the way we played against Florida the other night, there wasn't a lot of joy in that, nor do I expect people to find a lot of joy in that. But I also am not going to be on an emotional roller coaster every single week as a head football coach and the leader of this football program either. And I'm going to try and find the positives in everything.